Alan Wells, uh, the Scot with the fastest time in Europe so far this year, is in the second semi-final, and in the first, two of his great rivals for the title, Bortsov of Russia, a double Olympic sprint gold medalist, and Menia of Italy. Four to qualify, commentators are David Coleman and Ron Pickle. Petrov on the far side in white with green shorts, fast tighter, but next to him Ignatienko of the Soviet Union, now Bortsov beginning to make it, Menia pulling away, Menia of Italy having a great run, looking around, it's very gentle, Menia gets there, Petrov gets there, Ignatienko gets there, and Bortsov is the fourth one we think to qualify, but no doubt about the winner, a clear one for Menia in 10-2-6. The Russian in lane two, Ignatienko, got a great start, but Manir seemed to be just casually strolling this one and only switches on over the last 40 metres or so. He breaks clear, gets well away, and then on the inside lanes, there's Petrov and Ignatienko and Bortsov battling away with Voronin of Poland for the fourth well, place. Walking thoughtfully back, he's got a very tough race here. Eugen Ray, the greatest German in lane one. Kolesnikov, the European Indoor champion from Russia in lane two. Zaric of Yugoslavia, lane three. Arami of France, lane four. Alan Wells fascinating the cameraman there with no blocks in lane five. Kefalos of Greece in lane six. Dunecki of Poland in lane seven. And Grazioli, Italy in lane eight. In the first round, Wells of these semi-finalists was the third fastest. Eugen Ray was the fastest man on the far side. And Wells got a good one, Ray did too, and Kolesnikov as well. And it's little Russian Kolesnikov with Ray on the far side of Wells. 24 qualified, Dunecki and Poland on the near side. And they come down, Ray leads. Ray wins, second was Wells, third Dunecki and four Kolesnikov. Those four go through into the final later this afternoon. The time, 10.3, not as fast as Manea. at Eugen Ray. Bulldozing his way down the track on the inside. He really is tremendously powerful. Little Kolesnikov, one of the fastest stars in the world alongside him. Wells driving for the tape late. Ray really lost his balance there. And uh, Dunecki's there with Wells. And may just have started it from Wells. That doesn't matter. They qualify. And so do, does well, We're just waiting now for them to go to their blocks for that uh, final. Just let me remind you, if you've just switched on, that uh, we're covering the second days of events in the European Athletics Championships in Prague. And one of the plums still to come. Uh, Co and Steve Ovet in the semi-final of the 800 metres. Well, we're now ready to go to uh, Prague. There they are, getting ready for that 100 metres final to decide who is the fastest man in Europe. Let's go live to the stadium and our commentators there. Drawn in lane number one, Ignatchenko of Russia. Practically unknown outside Russia, but impressive here. Then Kolesnikov of Russia, the European indoor champion. Alan Wells of Scotland and Great Britain in lane number three. Petrov of Bulgaria, Olympic finalist in lane four. The great Valery Botsov. Champion since 1969, again in 71 and 74 from Russia. He's in lane five. Then Eugen Ray of East Germany in lane six. Miner of Italy, the favorite, who's the most impressive all the way through in lane number seven. And Junecki, the recent find, in fact, the find of the championships from Poland. He's got better and better here. And he and Alan Wells look to have a battle on for the bronze because they're equal third fastest. The fastest man all the way through has been the man in lane seven. Pietro Minea of Italy. And the second fast is drawn next to him, Eugen Ray. In spite of the rain, the stadium, about three quarters full, it really has been pouring down with rain most of the day. What a month Alan Wells has had, though, coming from nothing at all. First of all, in the Commonwealth Games, he met the Olympic 100 meter champion, Hazley Crawford. Then he met the Olympic 200 meter champion, Don Quarry. Since then, he met the fastest man in the world last year, Leonard of Cuba. And here he is now against Bortsov and the rest of the Europeans. But Bortsov doesn't appear to be the danger on current form. Still, he's a great waiter and saver and usually produces his best in the final. The European 100 meters final. Three Russians in the final. Away they go, and Wells got a beauty, he got a really good start. But also going well is Menier and Eugen Ray. And Wells going well on the far side, but this is going to be very, very close indeed. It's very close, but Menier wins. Eugen Ray, and in the photograph, Ignatendo on the far side. Menier, the fastest man all the way through. He really is the most fluid mover. He's looked dominant since the championship started, and now he takes the gold medal. What a contrast with the sheer power, the rawness of Eugen Ray, who finished second, the East German. It looks like the man in lane one got third place, Ignatchenko, but he's very, very close with Adam Wells, I think, about fifth. Wells got a beautiful start there, but he's really been under tremendous pressure, way beyond his experience in the past month, and I think the mental torture is telling. 
Wells was right with them there. Mineo was not too well away in lane seven. Eugen Ray in lane six in the blue vest of East Germany with a white trimming. He's leading in this stage. On the far side, the new Russian Ignachenko is going well. Wells is right there. But from here on, Mineo with this lovely floating action he's got. He's a real floating sprinter, not a power man. He comes home in front. The clear winner in second place, Eugen Ray. And I think it was right in third. The Russian at the top, Ignachenko. Fourth is Petrov. And fifth. On the near side, Junecki possibly in a photo with Alan Wells for fifth and sixth places. The signal shows that Menier knows he's finished number one, and he really has looked the number one sprinter since the championship started.